Welcome back to Suburban Living. This is Ed. We're out here working on the Jeep again. Previous video I did a sleeping setup for the Jeep and in that sleeping setup I had this piece of plywood here. Now I'm keeping this for a single setup if I still want to do that and it's going to be underneath the, the cargo mat here. Today I've made uh, something different to make it possible to have a twin bed in the back. Now the Jeep Grand Cherokees, the WJs, aren't really well set up for length or width. A person perhaps could get a full full mattress here if you built a, a shelf that went from one side all the way to the other, but this would have to be built up. And I just really wasn't willing to do that right now. So what I did was I made a piece of wood here. Let me raise this up. This is plywood. And let me show you how, how I did this. I, I cut it out first. I just cut it out using the skill saw and jigsaw as I just semi made it fit. And so um, let me show you a piece of video to where shows how I covered this with a piece of um, material from from Walmart. Okay, I'm going to do my best to show the covering process. This is an old piece of beadboard plywood that I had in my garage for a long time. I bought it originally. I don't remember how much it cost, but a piece of 3 8 plywood would work just fine. I went down to Walmart and picked up this this piece of carpeted fabric of some kind five dollars and forty six cents one point three seven five yards at three ninety seven a yard you might have an old fleece blanket or something else but what I intend to do I intend to cut this a couple inches past around and this is this is the bottom side and the top side of course I laid down I'm gonna fold that and then I'm gonna staple that with quarter inch staples so stay tuned okay so far so good folded this over the edge and I put some staples I'll probably put a few more down I've never done this kind of thing before so this is trial and error it doesn't seem to be any rocket science staple that side I'm gonna pull it tight on this side because these are the two straight sides and I've got uh, this section curved here so I'm gonna do it Last, I'm going to stand it up on this edge and make sure that I pull that nice and tight and lap it over before I staple this, uh, this second side. Okay, got this side stapled, this side stapled. What I'm going to do on this corner is I'm going to kind of tuck this like you would fold a Christmas package and pull that over nice and tight and start my staples down through on this. Okay. It isn't perfect. I'm going to put some tacks in those corners probably and I'm going to put a few more staples in this around on on the inside. Probably double staple. I'll staple out here and I'll fill this in a little better and in here probably just to give that a little more. Now what I have to do is finish finish this in, cut this end in and and this will be done be ready to put in the Jeep. Okay, not pretty on this side, but I think it's stapled pretty well. Fold it in the corners. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. We'll see what that looks like in the Jeep. Okay, if you haven't seen the video where we just did the mod on these uh, hinges, uh, you can certainly check that out there on my channel. This comes up, of course, a little bit of storage area here. I've got, uh, I used a breaker bar there with a socket for, for the lug nuts. Now here we have these locking pins. You know, the more I think about it, these locking pins are pretty easy to pull out. Pull them back very easily. Uh, they're about two fifty a piece, something like that. So ten bucks, you can do all four of them. 
but you know, quarter inch bolt, quarter inch by two and a half with a nut on it will go through there and work just as well. It'll be pretty quick. Just take the nut off the end, just finger tighten it on there so it doesn't rattle off going down the road. But we pull these out and with this new setup, I can leave the, the tops on the seats, hold these seats down and we have this gives a little bit more support. Let me walk around to the other side of the Jeep. Obviously if you're in a camping situation, you could uh, leave the lower part of the seats at home if you knew nobody was going to be with you or you could put them up there in the front seat. Now that I'm here, I'll pull this right up to the front. Now I have a sleeping platform. And this will hold a twin mattress. Now, those seats could be slid forward a little bit more for just a little additional headroom or foot room. I'm not quite six foot tall, and I could fit back here. I believe two people could because a twin mattress will fit between the fender wells and the length here with the upper gate closed. Uh, the next thing I intend to do to make this an even better setup, I'm going to take this single piece that I have, and I'm going to get, I'm either going to make it out of wood or out of pipe. I'm going to put two pieces across here to put a shelf to where I can set that board on the top, make it pretty, pretty durable because if I'm going to use it, I'll just put it in there before I go on a trip, and then I can put some of my things up there on that shelf while I'm sleeping at night. Obviously, I wouldn't put my head on this side then. I would put my head up there. That's what I intend to do anyway. And I think that shelf will make it, make it nice. Now, what I really need to do also is to put some kind of a box on the top of the Jeep, something that's uh, lockable, and that way I can put my fishing poles and those types of things if I'm fishing or... Um, other uh, hiking or, or camping type things up there if we're sleeping in the back although we will stack a good bit of things here on on the top all right guys that's uh, that's about it if you have any extra ideas additional ideas just uh, let me know something we may we may do to make this a little more functional something that'll make it a little a little more comfortable i guess uh, for for the camping trip just let us know thank you for watching and have a great day.